Kiko, uh, Isinia is here, Jacob Meche, the captain, Dan Quay, uh, Steven Tete, Johan Sa, Charles Alote, Lawrence Ajatete, Ishmael Ado, Emmanuel Osekufo, uh, Charles Taylor, Substitute Bedida, uh, Richard Ninoy, Dan Opong, Edmund Copson, George uh, Iranio. Where is George Iranio? He's in Kumasi. He's in Kumasi, wow. Uh, Kenneth Sapong and Bernard Dongote. Kenneth Sapong has also been a while. He's in the US. Kenneth Sapong is in the US. Oh, okay. Watching Kukudia Cash Pula. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Make sure rest is perfect. Yeah. It's uh, Kukudia. Godfrey Yabwa, Dan Aqua, Joe Hendricks. Yes, the partnership between Dan Aqua and Joe is always something else. Uh, we have Joe Sam. Where is Joe Sam? He's in Kumasi. Wow, Lawrence Aja, uh, Lawrence Aja, uh, Godin Uplode, Captain Sheila Lassan, Nana India, or Nana from Pong, rather, and Frank. I'm welcoming you to the Accra Sports Stadium where this afternoon Accra has a work play Kumasi Asante Kodoko in a midweek encounter. Has a work in the traditional colors playing from right to left in your picture. Kodoko in the red top and the white shorts playing from left to right in your picture. So Kumasi Asante Kodoko are defending the International Conference and of the Souls while Accra has a work are defending the independence end of the fold, that's the independent square end of the fold. We've had a heavy downpour throughout the whole day. The atmosphere is a bit dull and the pitch is soggy. But nonetheless, we have a capacity crowd here this afternoon. The draw in coming the way of a crowd has a book. And this is the fourth week of the 2001 season. Joe Hendrix for Kotoka. Well, Nana Fempon couldn't control. This is Charles Aloche and Joe Hendrix once again to the rescue of Kumasi Asante Kodoko. A bloody Dan Quay. Joe and Sam of Hazelbrook controlling well in midfield. Nick Chatted. I just said, guys, one. And that was a speculative shot. The crowd, okay, taken by Oseb Watkins, Nana Fempon, Joe Amsa. The ball fine side for a throw in. That was from Aqua. Oh, throw in. Headed powerfully. Well, Sheila Lassa lost it, took away powerfully by Dan, uh, Joe Ansa. And it's going to be a throw in to Accra Hazebrook. This is a midweek encounter. And uh, Hazebrook, the defending champions, have met Kumasi and Santi Kodako. 22 times in the past decade. That's from 1992 to 2000. And out of 22, and 10 of the 22 games all ended in a draw. Uh, the last time the two teams met in a, in a league encounter was on March 15 over here. And the Hazelbrook were humiliated by Kumasi. Uh, Hazelbrook humiliated Kumasi and Santa Caraca by beating them for now. That's Lawrence J. Lawrence 
It's a goal kick. Should be taken by Sami Batez Ajay, the international. Actually, man, Kwame could do a little bit of running there. Put some pressure on him. This is the Ansua Francis. Ansua once again managed to keep the ball in play. And up and forward, shoved from the back by Dan Quay. And it's going to be a free kick to Kumasi Asante Kotoko. The keeper of the side, Godwin Abloody. And he lifts it as a chip forward. The flag is up. But Samia J made sure he had it all covered. It was taken by Yabua. George Yabua. It's a free kick taken by Sami Bateza J. He admires Bateza, mind you, and of France fame. Takes his name up after him. This is Ansua Francis. It's going to be a throw into the home side, how the book. We have a charge atmosphere here. And these are the two glamorous clubs. To the home side, how the book. We have a charge atmosphere here. And these are the two glamorous clubs in the country. La lovely dummy by Tiller. And he's inside it as well. It's a bit clumsy though. It's declared finally by Asua. This is Tiller against uh, Steven Tessa. Shilla last time. It's a lot of hard defense to regroup. The ball is still in play. I just said they're losing it. And so uh, that's a free kick. And I just said been cautioned by the rock. He had even uh, broken the leg. And he's the same person who gets up to defend the free kick. Sometimes it's, it's finding it difficult to under, understand the referee, uh, the players, I beg your pardon. But the referees sometimes uh, are very much alert. And Kotoko got some jokes time. His first season with Kotoko. Last year he was a keeper of a Bichon Jokes. And as you, are know, as you know that maybe where Jokes have been relegated and he's changed time. Joe and Chan. Gives it away, gives it away to upload it. Well, it's a throw in and it's to be taken by Zia. And for those of you who may be interested in surface fish, Hallibur and Kotoko Tank Tank in 90 have played 11 times at this venue. And I'm talking about the league matches. Not friendly, it's not knockout, but as far as the league matches are concerned, they played 11 times at the aircraft Sports Stadium. And how the book have won twice. Kotoko have won once, has won way in October, 3rd October 1999, they won 2-1 against Kotoko over here. And then on March 15th last year, they beat how the book 4-0, very unprecedented at that time. That the big story has a big Kotoko 4 0, I should say. So Kotoko lost 4 0 here, very unprecedented. So has won 2 1 in October 1994, 99, and won 4 0 on March 15, 2000. And Kotoko won way back in 1993 on the 26th of September. The big has a book. Eight of the games have ended in a draw, and this afternoon we're yet to know who's going to win here. And this is, uh, that was uh, Ote Kupua trying to meander his way through. He's in cut out, Francis Ansua. He gives it away. This is Charles Aloche. Great tackle by Joe Henrik. Oh, what a lovely work by Joe Henrik. I like his confidence. And this is Ismail Ado. Can he keep it in play? But if you look at the two teams, if you consider the month of May, 
They have met only twice in the month of May. This is the third time that they are meeting in the month of May since uh, 1996. And on both occasions, uh, in May 1994, on the 29th May, they drew nil nil here at the Accra Sports Stadium. But on 30th May 1999, has a book one one nil in Kumasi. So since ninety four they come next day. But Joe Henrik had an advantage. Great work there by Aqua. Okay, Kufo. What an intelligent play. Aqua is there for Kotoko. Oh, he's giving it to Charles Taylor, rather. And Charles wins the corner. It's a great strike. He took a rookie there off our, our bloody. So, no scoring at the Craft Ball Stadium. And it's all important game, this epic game. Kumasi has to cut off against Azabok. And Joe and Sutton. He's hooked powerfully away by Aqua. Dan Quay is keeping a close watch on uh, Nana Pepon. That fits so well. Leku. And Francis As Asoa. That's going to be a cut of a score. The play there by Yamoa. That was from uh, Ismail. Took a rookie kick. And uh, Mankwam is who couldn't uh, also improve upon it. He also took a rookie kick. This is Charles Aloke. Cleverly wins the throw in. It's a rare struggle for the ball. The referee was close to the action. And Dan Quay way back. To the referee. A bloody Sami Ajay. A lot of Ajay is on side. And Sami Ajay got as well. Had a, and also a happy sandwich. It's going to be a throw in. <laughs> Among Pambeko is there for Alabok. Sends an incisive one over the top. Zone by just chipping it cleverly into this area for the, the strikers and the defenders to, to stop his out or to struggle for it. And this is Seven and Lawrence again. And he cleverly had wanted to de de uh, deceive uh, Samia J. And incidentally, Charlie has uh, is comforted by Yeboa, Charles Taylor. It's a clever tap. Charles Taylor goes on his marker, is in front, Charles. Oh, that was careful play by Charles Taylor. He's so intelligent, so graceful on the ball. So, definitely envied that play by Charles Taylor. Charles Taylor takes it. He was ambitious. I'm in the way of Kumasi Asante Kotoko. It's nil nil on the cross board stadium here. This is just done as you watch in the top line now for the midweek. Kumasi Asante Kotoko against the crown has a book. And this is Joe Ansa. And that was a cynical tackle. Nana Pepon. Good ball. And this is Laurie the J. Clayton Ward. Steven Tete is limping. Crosses well and Sami Ajay gathers it. 
Santos gonna go with this inside to that free kick. Godwin are bloody. Great making a pass a shot. A straight pass a shot to go to pass. Sammy AJ. Outside to four now playing as a lone man up front for Hart of Four. Uploaded leads it to Joseph. Not as potent as it appears and appears to be. And a defensive ladder almost committed the uh, heart of work on the offensive. And he tries to go through beautiful work there. From Kumasi Asante Kodoko. Last one support. Yes, he does. A few disputed decisions. Another one, a handball, and referee allows that to go. A push too far from Castella. Do some God with a bloody look for Nana Frenko. Try to four and half on the break. This will be dangerous. Taylor does well to control. No contention. And Castella gets it through a chance for half a folk now. And Ismailado, one touch too many in the vital area. And I tell you, there's no stopping Castella when he gets. And it's Joe Asa behind it. Straight off the wall for a corner kick to Castle. Castella right across the face of goal. And whoever Nana Frimpong. And he manages to get and a chance of Marcia Santa Godoko. Loris AJ on the right. And a firm grab from Josi Pasami AJ, the first descent chance of the afternoon for Kumasi Asante Kotoko and Hasoko would reply. Handball. And that and Castle at the pace shot. Jacob Nete. Straight off target. Mbreku on the right. And a neat interception there from Hendrix. Mbreku again. Well floated and well grabbed by goalkeeper Osei Boate. Game to expected less than a minute more to go. And Nana Paul can be dangerous. A chance for Kumasi Asante Kodoko now. This will be a penalty award. It's not given. I saw contact being made. And Castella in full flight. Too hard for Charles Alote at the other end of the field, but. No time added on whatsoever. 26, 22 seconds. And the whistle goes for the end of the first half. Welcome back to the Class 4 Stadium for the commencement of the second half. Kumasha Sandigarago have just made a change. Uh, Stephen Odro is on for Francis Ansoa. And uh, Karako on the offensive at the moment. It's a free kick. Nana Frempon penalized there. He's uh, bewildered about that. Kick has been taken and is headed powerfully by Taylor. And yeah. Ishmael coming close. A fair watching. in so firm. And that's the sprint. Well, Sheila Larson. It's a real struggle for the ball. So Sheila Larson. 
you can face to face uh, with Attila. It's a throw in, second by Josa Samiajay. Let's show some step. Clever one, Samiajay retreats cleverly. Oh, it's intelligent, he has to back here. Oh, to pick down the one that was on OT. And has on the offensive at the moment, Jose Kupuo couldn't get to it. It's a corner, corner. Ita Mankwambe could to take it for Hazebrook. And that's a chip forward. Nobody could to finish up for Hazebrook. Jacob Nesha, the keeper. And he's giving that away. Very uncharacteristic of him. Charles Aloche. Miss back here. This is a sublime one. The ball to Aloche from Kufu. He sends a compliment and oh boy. It was a lovely build up by the Phobians. Charles Aloche and Kufu. The final touch from Ajatate went wayward. Uh, and if the ball, well, not to be the time, this is not a one to be fit, but a J. It's a corner coming the way of Hazebrook and Reku. And this now was looking for Ose Kupuo. It's a bit tidy here this evening. The deadlock is yet to be broken. It's so bad in the scoreline. Charles Aloche inviting trouble for himself. Joa and Joe Sam concede the throw in. And Mirko is there to effect it for Hazebrook. It's not trying to free himself from his marker. It's been cut out nicely by Yaboa. The Phobians are still probing for goals. Ismail, it's a bit tight for Ismail Ado. Just on his marker, and the goalkeeper couldn't grab it the first time. It's been hooked away nicely by Aqua. The cut a goal, living dangerously on that occasion. And so has a ball, the Phobian. And a good drive, well, it was cut out nicely. Reku advertising his intentions. His cross has been cut out again, and it's a corner. Has a rock and mountain pressure. It looks like a it's a cut of the player on the turf. And he's been assisted by Esmeralado. Joe was in a desperate need of uh, assistance. Joe wants uh, and it's Dan Quay switching play to the skipper. Jacob Nate. He's giving away this a bloody. And this is a draw. Stephen O'Draw meandering his way through, engineering a lot of space. Uh, and it's Schiller. And it's a corner. But Stephen O'Draw was a delight to watch on the move. It's a corner coming the way of Kumasi of San Chicago. From the Australian of the field, those of you, well, it looks like Aqua who was switched off, not Joe Henrik. It was Aqua, the defender. The good kick there, headed quite close from Nana from Pond. Oh, uh, Nana from Pond wasn't far from target. And she's able to score two goals for Kumasi and Chikotoko. Since the season got underway, Charles Alote and his colleagues have been playing well in defense for Kotoko. And this is going to be a corner kick, and it's taken by Charles Taylor, wasted, and Aqua took it away for Kotoko. Dan Quay switching play to the far side. The idea was brilliant, but Dia did so well. Nana from Pond and Dan Quay. Oh, uh, this is Dan upon. Nana is complaining to the referee. But the referee was really sympathetic to his call.
calls and the prayer character the president he calls is quite careful. My only problem with him is that sometimes he overdoes it. This is Charles coming close. Took a note from Joseph. Good jammy by Aqua. And the goalkeeper, the ball coming off and was very close. How a step was in lost it eventually, I cannot tell. But Kodoko were lucky. And Charles Taylor appears to be in agony. Yes, in the sense that uh, most of the time, the, the prima of tension on the field of play, and the players actually are, are the worst of it. And so we don't actually see the sort of decent play that we want to see. And I think in that sense, I would say that they have, this has lived up to the billing. Well, we have to see any goals here at the Cross Ball Stadium. And it's a good ball to Lawrence Ajay, which is on the quad, and it was almost there! And what a brilliant flag it was from Lawrence Ajay. Terrific drive, an absolute missile of a shot. The referee, Mr. Wilson, was very close to the action. The goalkeeper, Sami Ajay, couldn't get it the first time. And I'm sure the ball traversed the baseline. The ball traversed the line, and so the referee has awarded a goal. But it was a beauty of a shot, a splendid shot, spectacular shot. And, I'm, and uh, the call, the call ball credits to Nana Swimpong, but definitely it was Lawrence Ajay. He tried it uh, the first time, uh, uh, within, in the first half, he tried it in the, the same angle, uh, only that it was at the other side of the, of the field. And uh, goalkeeper lived up to it. This time around, there was no answer. There was uh, some form of an answer, but it was deleted and misdirected. The ball actually did cross the line. And I think I all kudos to Russell Wilson for the temerity of mind for awarding that goal. Choke down. Well, it was a misplaced pass, Joe Henrik. It's going to be a goal kick to Kumasi Asante Kodoko. Sunday match in May was 29th May 1994. Over here, the match ended nil-nil. But 1999, the 30th May, when they met in Kumasi. And that's a good step forward. And it was close. Sheila Alasan. He couldn't really score. Goalkeeper. Sami Ajay was beating. The yawning net was beckoning. Sheila Larson. The ball agonizingly gracing the far post. And what a huge luck. And the turf westening his flight. It's going to be a throw in to cut a cut. Kumasiya Sandikaraka won, Accra has a work new, this is a story at the Cross Ball Stadium, and it's a Titanic match, the top lineup for the mid midweek, Osei Kupua, Ajatete, it is very busy this afternoon, and so has the Mankwa Meku, lovely tip forward, and Ismail is a, is a still late again, good play, good footwork by Ismail, uh, he was just not lucky, but he did work to free himself to, do, to really hurry now. Taylor brought down, and he reacted violently. This could be a book, this is a bookable offense. And Joe Henrik has been booked by Mr. Watson. Has even failed to give me a verbal caution. And that's the only no. negative thing I've detected on his part so far. Meku has wasted it. One goal to nil is the score line by the Phobians. Fighting very hard. And this should be the equalizer. It was not to be. Familiar pattern here, Hassel Folk doing all the running and moving up front. 
And I started going to go playing on the break. And here they come again. Kumasi has started going to go another opportunity. Nana Frimpong. Don't quit push it, but not very far. Yes, our players are seeing they are very light depend on this game. Okay. And that was heading straight towards Ishmael Ado. Another corner kick. And Asante Kotoko living dangerously at this stage. Don Bote running the full length of the soul to effect that one from the other side. Bernard Don Bote. A dangerous one. And this is Captain Jacob Nete, of saying for flatten, and he manages to, to pick it up. And the flag went up by a chance. Has a folk now? Well, the equalizer has come. Ismail Ado has made it for the Phobians. And Trafakra has a book to always come back from the dead. One, and the Assistant Referee did not insist on it. So it is legal. It is half of one. Kumasi Asante Kodoko one. Well, that was a brilliant blow there by the Assistant Referee at the flag up initially. Uh, but this is Nana Frempon. And Frempon to make it two. To award that. And play on, says the referee. Half of us going for the full three points now. No danger at all to the goalkeeper. The bookable offense because uh, Stephen O'Drew was in a very good position, and these are uh, things that FIFA really don't allow. Well, so 10 minutes to decide who wins this game. It appeared, it appeared a fair complete for Kumasi Asante got for a short while ago. But trust the phobias to always fight back. And now the two sides are on level pegging. Jacob Nete, Ismail Adu the goal scorer. Aja Tete, Osai Kufuo. Try to look for it, and this should be the winner. This should be the winner. Ismail Adu. Ismail Adu. Kumasi has started to go in all sorts of trouble. Half of us two, Kumasi has started to go one. And whoever saw such a dramatic turnaround was possible here at the Kumasi Sports Stadium. But anytime you have a cycle for a Nish Melado combining so fluently, definitely nothing but trouble looms. You cannot begrudge them. 20 minutes ago, it appeared that the phobias were dead in this game. But maybe we are not done yet because we still have eight more minutes to go and the phobias are still in full glow. Another opportunity, a hat trick for Ismail Ado. And goalkeeper comes out to make a very, very important save for Kumet. They look at, uh, they look at not themselves because that wasn't the way they played in the first half. I don't know why. What is happening to Joe Henrik, uh, Yaboa, and Aqua? But they will have to keep a close watch. Especially Joe Henrik must keep a close watch over Ismail Ado because it looks like uh, things are really going well for him at the moment. Well, at uh, any time, Osai Kufo gets the ball, it appears he can even find Ismail Ado blindfolded. And that is the trick that is really proving very difficult for Kumasi Asante Kodoko defenders to contend with. Here they come again on cycle four, and this man has taken off. Free kick. And here they come, Don Bote. And he seeks to deceive the goalkeeper. 
a very ambitious prize, but definitely if you are two goals to one up and you have six more minutes to go and you are playing so well, you can afford to uh, try to receive goalkeepers in this way. Sheila Lassa now comes forward. Nana Frempo on the right. The cross is deep. And goalkeeper to do something about this one. Off target it goes. And uh, we still have Charles Taylor uh, who has gone off, but we still do have Ismail Ado and Oseko for out front. And if you get too offensive minded, you could pay the price. And well, a crappy play. And finally, the referee went for a play. To uh, on the whole, I think he's done very well. I bet he's up to Nana Fempo. And here comes uh, Kumase Asante Kotoko. Don Bote for Hasoko. Osei Kufuo. And he runs through. And again. Danger Mountain for Kumara Kotoko now, also Eku for, and a chance, a chance for Hasoko, blasted wide for Kotoko. Well, I must say that the young man, John Bote, has oh, uh, well, been very anxious. You remember the controversy surrounding him at the beginning of the season. He went to Kotoko come wanting to join the club, and uh, he came out to say that he went there because he wanted his price to go up, which I didn't agree with him. But uh, so he he's been left in the grudge against And Ojo comes forward, a chance for Kumasi Asante Kotoko now. Lauren Sejay, as we hit the 90th minute mark, and barring any time added on, the referee's whistle could go any moment from now as Jacob Nete concedes a precarious Konaki. and Lawrence and Jay effect one, a dangerous one. And Otro, no freaking giving, and Ishmael Ado takes off. A chance for half a folk now. A chance for half a folk now. And Ishmael Ado, the pass came late, but Don Bote had taken off. And if only Ishmael Ado had looked up at that moment, <laughs> it could have been three goals to the Phobians. Well, Ismail, uh, on, on some occasions, has been criticized uh, uh, for being selfish, and, uh, uh, for being selfish. but uh, and on this occasion, if he had really uh, looked up and uh, reached John Bosch, it would have been a different story, Sapu. Ismail, Kufour, and Kufour loses possession with nonchalance. And there goes Wesley Wilson's whistle for the end of proceedings. Accra has a talk to Kumasi in ahead in the 60th minute through Lawrence Ajay and Ismail Ado in the 81st minute and uh, 83rd minute coming up with quick thinking and getting the phobians out with another victory that seeks to confirm the superiority of the phobians over their arch rivals. So for now, it has a talk with six points from two games and Kumasi Asante Kotoko with seven points from four